Well guys, how's it going today? Welcome to a uh, fucking category four hurricane because that's what we've been having since last night. Because they were talking storms and yeah. We didn't get much for storms, but we did get a, well, that's bullshit. We got quite a bit of fucking rain. We didn't really get so much for like lightning and hail or stuff like that. We didn't even hardly get any wind out of that, that those storms. Of course, the more you went east and south, where all the storms are actually at, they got fucked up big time. Once again, farmers have lost sheds and barns and equipment, you name it, they've lost it. So, <sighs> but it's, uh, we've been getting butt fucked for the last quite a few hours because the mailman's coming i forgot to check the mail yesterday so pfft, whatever so well actually the mail never came because it was a holiday you know well whatever i don't you can see i don't really care holidays are such a waste of time anyway but um so we've had extremely high winds we're still having hurricane force winds um people down there where all the big storms are at, they were saying that they were possibly even getting tornadoes. They were in a Torcon uh, for tornadoes. We were in for a Torcon of two, which means 20% chance of a terrible tornado. But then when you went further down, <clears throat> I think they were up to like a 30% chance. And a little, a little bit higher, I think. So, um, if they really got a tornado, they're showing damage. And they blame it on tornadoes, but it could have just been high winds, like really high winds. Which I mean, it could have been a tornado too. I haven't been keeping myself up to date with the weather because I have fucking problems on my own that I'm dealing with right now, and I'm just done. So I, I just I'm tired of this fucking weather. This weather has fucked me too many times, and I'm done. So <clears throat> we uh, see the power. The power flickered off a little bit uh, yesterday. It went off for about half a second and it came back on. Could have been just something touching the power lines or a power line was touching something, you know, or the, the two power lines could have touched and then did a quick short out, you know, whatever. So it wasn't a huge problem. It definitely kind of fucked everything up. Everything had to get reprogrammed again, you know, like my TVs and stuff. So, but then, uh, then the wind started picking up. Wind started picking up. I, I'm i surprised I haven't lost another tree yet in my fucking yard. I'm really blown away, but we lost another tree at the farm. It brought the electric fence down. So, and then this guy over here behind me, or to the north of me, he lost a big tree branch in his yard. And then they lost, and I don't know how good it's gonna show up on camera, Unless you go actually outside. There's the UPS. So they lost a whole big tree. So that's gonna be I think it, it broke off at the top there and then it it looks big there. It looks bigger from here, but I don't know about anybody else. Obviously I'm not driving out in this fucking bullshit. Um so but we got quite a bit of fucking rain. I don't know, the my rain gauge has two and a half inches. Mind you, there was already a little bit in the rain gauge from the day before because we had gotten a little shower and I was just wasn't feeling like emptying it out. But it still adds up to what, you know, to all this. So, so right around that two and a half inch here. So it doesn't seem like a hell of a lot, but it's, I think we got more than that. A lot of it was kind of wind driven too so it kind of a lot of it came straight down but then a lot of it was drifting too because the wind started picking up towards the end so such a such a damn mess and then uh <clears throat> the uh the family that lives across the street from the farm they're back up to their old tricks again but instead of this time using a dog they're using a pig 
So they got one of their big massive pigs walking around. And of course, nobody's fucking home. Walking around the farm, doing stuff, harassing our cows and bothering them. They're getting all hyped up. So, um, went over there at the the Tahoe because it was the quickest way to get there. And I figured, well, I could, you know, push it back, push it back to the house, and then maybe it would stay there. But then it got kind of well, it was just plain stupid. It wasn't. He wasn't even going where he should be going, so I had to get out of the fucking Tahoe. Tried to push him, you know, back by hand. Got a little snappy. Well, then don't be trespassing on his fucking people. I have every right right now to shoot that fucking pig. It's just trespassing, and it just tried to bite me, and it barked at me. Whatever the fuck they kind of make. They, it sounded like a barking sound, but I don't know. So... <clears throat> But then we noticed uh, there was a tree down uh, that fell on the electric fence, so we had to kind of, uh, it, it was still kind of up, like the, where it broke, it was still hanging up on the top of the tree. There was just a few branches and stuff that were touching the wires, so we just cut the branches off for now because you can't really walk there because it's all under fucking water again. It was all, the water was almost gone, there was... You know, just like a little area that was still full of water, but you know, another few days and that would have been gone, but no. Nope. It had to just fill it right everything's filled right back up to the max again. I don't know what the river's doing. I imagine the river's coming back up again. I haven't looked today because it's just fuck it. I'm done looking at it. I'm tired of it. I guess we'll get hay when we get hay, or if we don't get hay this year, I guess we sell all our fucking cows, because we're not going to have money to be buying 60, 60 bales or so to get us through the winter. It's just, it's, it's impossible for us to, you know, pay for that, so, not, not the way that prices of hay are, are costing, so, but there goes the mailman, I'm just get in the freaking way, so, But yeah, it's just getting there, getting irritated. We were doing so good there for a while, you know. Uh, you know, nice weather and, and getting in the 70s and touching 80s at times. And we're back to this fucking bullshit. And it's barely even above 40. It's like 41. That's with the wind freaking blowing around. So. I don't know. So, just not catching a freaking break. And then I had to, uh, well, then the, the, the stupid pig, he kind of wandered off into the woods you know, next to our place, you know, and then we had to work on the, the electric fence too. So I had to come back, get my shit boots because I wasn't going to wreck my regular boots and I can't walk through deep water with just these. So, I had to come all the way back, get the freaking mud boots on, go back all the way back over there, and then there were some other jobs I needed to do. Well, I can't do them with the freaking Tahoe, so I had to come back get the four-wheeler because the four-wheeler is all soaking wet and covered in freaking mud. The, uh, the Tahoe took took a beating today because I was just getting irritated and I just was, I was beating the piss out of it because I was just. Because the wind's making it miserable, and then it would kind of rain on and off every now and then. And then that fucking pig, you know, snapping at me, really got me freaking irritated. I had every right to just fucking slit its fucking throat and harvested the damn meat off it. So, I don't know what the hell their fucking problem is over there, but you know what? I don't know. So, I, this, this is the second time that's happened. The first time... Uh, my grandma got a hold of him and said, hey, your fucking pig's, you know, wandering over here. Well, the pig doesn't even listen to the fucking owner. So, you know, he had to, he, he tried. So then he went back and got a pail of feed to coax the thing into coming back. Eventually he got it back. But, 
it got out. It was, I don't know if it's getting out or if they're just letting it out, letting it roam free. Or what the fuck their deal is. But I'm really about had enough of it. You know. So. If, if you can't control your damn animals. Then you shouldn't have them. So. <clears throat> if that. Pig gets out again. And. Does things you know. And then the cow. Or the pig you know. Walk right through our garden. Well of course we have nothing planted in the garden. So it didn't really matter. But. You know. What if we had stuff planted in there? Would it go and eat it all, or would it just destroy it, or, or you know what? You know, we shouldn't have to fence off our, our whole entire, entire property because one moron cannot control their animals. If you can't control your animals, then you need to get rid of them, or you need to spend some real fucking money and get some real fencing supplies and get, get it done and over with, you know, because they don't even hardly mow their fucking yard. I've mowed my yard probably three times, two or three times, they haven't even mowed their yard once yet. They wait until about July. So then it looks like hay after they mow it. They break their mower because it's too much for the mower because their mower is ten times smaller than mine. You know. So I don't know what kind of job he has and what she has. But if you can't afford a decent mower and you can't afford to keep your animals under control, then you can't have any of that. You know. That's just ridiculous. So... <clears throat> But if it gets out again, then I, I guess we're going to be back to calling the cops again because I've already tried to be nice with it and tried to just push it back to their yard. All it does is get angry at me. It's like, bitch, if I had a 12 gauge that just would have blown his ass away, took it to a meat place and had it slaughtered, you know? Like, fuck it. You may wonder where your pig is at. Well, he's going to be in my tummy, and then I'm going to shit him out the next day. You know, that's just the way it's going to fucking be. I'm, I'm done playing Mr. Fucking Nice Guy with people. You know, it's getting irritating. And then, and then the you know with the pig harassing us, harassing our cows because our cows are going fucking nuts because they're they re I don't know what the hell their problem was. They're running around and staring at it and whatever else. So it's putting them under stress. They are most likely pregnant. You know, so it's probably not good for the calf. You know, so. It's just un unfreaking believable. I wish I would have had my GoPro set it up so I could fucking videotape it. You know. But it's just, it's just ridiculous. So the, the next time it happens, uh, we're just going to call the cops. And then be like, well, if it ain't the fucking mutt, now it's the fucking pig. And supposedly the pig's name, if this is the right one, is named Chop. Okay, well chop the son of a bitch up and let's eat him. I mean, he's fucking huge, dude. He's a big son bitch. He ain't one of those little, little small guys. He's he's a full grown son bitch. If he, if he wanted to run me over, he could do it. So, but I tried to push him back with the blazer, just trying to get him out of the yard, see if he would go back, you know, their way. But again, the blazer's so big and clumsy, you can't sit in certain areas. You can't turn it or turn it around real tight like you can a four wheeler. But I wanted the comfort of the cab to keep the wind off me in the rain because that's obviously what we're getting today is a bunch of wind and fucking rain and it's cold out so I wanted to be in the blazer and plus the blazer's right there and it's close to where I need to be so whereas with this thing I have to walk all the way up to my shop to get it so that's quite quite the walk so especially when you're in a hurry and you need to do a, you know emergency things you know you have to just you gotta go you gotta be able to go right now so but the other fucking thing that's going on is while the pump was slowing down, my sub pump in my basement, that was down to about every 10 minutes. No, nope, it's about every, probably about every 40 seconds again. Basement flooded again. It's just 100% under again. I'm not fucking sucking it. I'm done. Fuck it. Because even, even after this, they're still talking you know, a cool down, like, it's it's not going to be 70s and 80s anymore, like, what, this is almost fucking June, and here we're still dealing with this cock-sucking bullshit fucking weather, I'm so tired of it, I just want, I don't know what the hell it is with this year, you know, it's so stupid, but every year has been stupid, in one way, last year was a freaking drought, this year it's going to be just non-stop fucking rain and cold, 
you know. So, yeah, I mean, they're talking a few days now without any rain, but the temperatures are just not going to be high enough to where this stuff's not going to dry out very quickly, if at all. It'll probably just stay freaking down forever and ever and ever. I don't know. I mean, yeah, we could always have it worse, you know, like other people are down south, but we are just, we're behind on, on everything. I mean, just not us, but you know, all the other farmers too that are trying to get shit in their fucking fields. These fields are still underwater, you know. They're not going to get in. I don't think they're going to get in. I don't know what you can plant that grows in less time than what you would normally plant. I mean, there are crops out there that, that can grow in less time but you know you still need a large window or a large growing season to even grow short crops so and, and just the way it's playing out I don't think it's going to happen it's just it's pissing me off so I don't know I'm just I'm fed up with it I'm not Fuck it. I'm done. I'm just, I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm, I don't know how many gallons of water I sucked out of my basement from the last time it freaking flooded because I haven't done the math on that yet. But I can tell you I'm probably well over 500 gallons, you know, that I've probably sucked, if not more. I don't know. I haven't done, I've been keeping track of it. I just haven't done the math yet. So, um, but again, I'd have to repeat my steps again to get this bullshit out. You know, it's like, fuck it. You know, I'm going to burn up my freaking shot back. You know. Uh, so, fuck it. The damn thing can just stay fucking, on, it can just stay underwater for a while. I'm done. I'm frustrated. I'm surprised I haven't had a stroke yet because I've just been, you're so irritated today. You know. I woke up all right. You know, I was like, oh, yeah, it's rainy. It's freaking windy. Yada, yada, yada. There was damage done over there. Okay, it's not on my property, so I don't give a fuck about it. You know, if it was on my property, then it'd be a different story. So, I'm not really all that stressed out about it. The first signs of stress for me is when I opened the basement door. Went down there, two boxes underwater, my welder's going underwater. I put all that stuff back downstairs because I brought it all upstairs from the first time that it flooded. So I was like, oh, okay, the water's out of the basement. There was just a tiny little bit left in the corner. I figured that would probably, I would either have to suck it out or it would just evaporate on its own. So I brought all my stuff back downstairs, my big giant toolbox, my welder, put it all back down that down in the basement, all back underwater again. So I think we got more than, than two and a half inches of rain. So <clears throat> I just, I don't know. But you can, I mean, I imagine you can tell my voice that I'm very freaking pissed off. I am. Because we cannot catch a goddamn break in this fucking weather. It's ridiculous. You know, I imagine our hayfield has gone back under again. I haven't even looked today. Because I know the ramp's going to be all freaking slimy and, and wet. So, you know, I'll probably go out there tomorrow, I guess, or something with the four-wheeler. That's the only thing that would, that would climb it with no trouble. I don't know if I even want to fucking look. Because I imagine it's all back underwater again. I mean, you think two and a half inches ain't going to do much. But it can do a lot. If it can flood my damn basement, it can do a lot out in that field too. So, and all that fucking shit that's down south, that's all got to come up this way too. So, I mean, the water's dropped quite a bit out in the hayfield. It's dropped a lot since the last flood update. But, you know, things were going good. I was looking forward to, you know, finally... Getting down, you know, at least into the square fields and, you know, and picking up some trash here and there and and waiting for the field to dry out, you know, like it only needed. If, if we had a couple more days of 70s and 80s, I think a good chunk of that square field would have been dry. Enough that you could get a tractor down there and maybe push some trash around a little bit, you know. Still got to open uh, the ramp by the farm. I got to open the one by the bridge. Uh, and then there's another one where the old bridge used to be at, but that's going to be somebody else's fucking problem because I ain't going to have time to deal with it. So it's whoever gets down that ramp first, is it's their problem cleaning out. I'm doing the one by our farm and the one by the bridge because those are the ones I use 
when I travel. Now, I also use the one by the bridge, but I don't have to. I can go around and still stay on my property and be fine because I got trails there too. So it's not a big deal if I can't go up that, that end. So, you know, freaking piss it, you know, piss on it. I'm not even going to freaking bother with it. So if nobody else gets to it, and then maybe I'll, I'll pick at it then throughout summer. But other than that, I'm done with it. I'm just going to focus on our two ramps and then the field. And then imagine that's back underwater again. But <clears throat> what are you going to do? <clears throat> so... But well, they said though, as the day goes on, the winds are supposed to calm down. Uh, they're saying that wind gusts could hit as high as 55 miles an hour. Sure, they've done it because obviously there's trees down. You know, and it's so stupid because um, the guys that own this property here in front of me, they were out quite a few days ago with the bobcat picking up other trees that have fallen down from the last snowstorm or the last rainstorm that we had and plus over the winter too now stuff falls from snow and wind so they're there picking all this stuff up making this yard look real nice you know and then you get one good mow on it and then you get another snow, another hurricane force storm knocks another fucking tree down so now they got to get the bobcat back out pick that big sum bitch up they're probably going to have to cut it I don't think they're going to be able to haul it like that they're going to have to get rid of that because it's going to be in the way of their mowing. Over here in this yard behind me, they got a big tree branch down in the yard. You know, it's like, holy shit. It's like, when did, when did we get enough? When did, when did we get a break? You know? We only had, like, maybe two or six, two weeks of an actual good break. But then, you know what? That was all drying time, dude. Just trying to dry the hell out. And then when just when you're just almost there, you know, to being completely dried out... Boom. You get bitch slapped with another rainstorm that just likes to rape you in the ass and then you got to, you know, clean up the mess. This has been a hell of a spring already. I can tell you that. Now, it's not even spring anymore. It's summer now. Fuck's sacred. June's right around the bloody corner. And we're still getting springtime weather. It's fucking mind-blowing to see how messed up this planet has become and it ain't because of fucking global warming go fuck yourself if anything it's more like a like a global cooling because it's cooler here more than it should be you know yeah we've gotten a couple days of 70s and a couple days of you know low 80s that's only two days out of the whole fucking year so far we should have started having 60s you know, uh, like a month ago, at the beginning of of May, it's when we should have started seeing our you know sixties and maybe even tickling seventies at times. We've only seen like three or four days of that, and and it's right back to cold again. You know, this weather has just been irritating. It's been driving me freaking bonkers. I'm I'm really surprised that I haven't had a stroke yet. I probably will have one tonight, so if you don't see a video from me for a week, probably because I'm in the hospital because I had a fucking stroke. Because I'm stressed out to the freaking max again. So, then I have another piece of my fucking shingle laying on the ground. I'm losing pieces of my shingle every every storm that we get. Can't do nothing about it because the asshole wouldn't show up to replace my shingles. And I don't have the money to, you know, deal with that now, so. But, whatever. I got everything to, to fucking deal with, so... I gotta get this hunk of shit into the repair shop. That probably won't happen until probably late July, the end of July, because June and July are the months I need them. So after that, I, I, I won't need them again until you know probably October or November when the young guy comes and get his hay. That's probably the only other time I'm going to probably need this thing. You know, but then maybe by then I'll actually be using the Tahoe a lot more, and this thing can just sit. So. <clears throat> but the Tahoe's in the garage again being worked on um, nothing major it's just my backup camera mount monitor fell off again I guess because this time the mount 
that's actually glued to the sticky mat, them two separated. But I have the sticky mat glued to the dash, you know, so that's perfectly, that's staying perfectly fine. But now it's the mount not sticking to the sticky tape. So I just fucking glued it. I just said, fuck it. I got my Gorilla Glue out. I glued the son of a bitch on there. I'm waiting for the glue to cure. I think it's, it's had all night to cure. They recommend at least two hours of clamping time and then 24 hours to fully cure. And after that, it should be perfectly fine. It should stay on there hopefully by then. So, but, you know, I had to use it a little bit today. And then I had to switch over to this thing because the other jobs that we were going to do, we needed this. So, so I just went with this in the first place, but I didn't think I'd really, you know, would, would need it. So, and it's harder to do anything when I got this sprayer on the back and it does have chemical in it, by the way. So, I've sprayed my yard. I've sprayed all my dandelions. Um, I think it's pretty much killed them off. I'll probably have to spray again, but they only recommend to spray once a year for this. With this type of chemical that I'm using, they only want you to spray once. So, but I've, I've done it more than once before, but... My yard, yeah, I only want to do it once because I don't want to stress my grass out too much. I've already stressed it out enough, so... Yeah, and I've I, and I mowed. I knew the storm was coming, but the thing is, too, is they, they kept pushing it back every hour. Every hour, they, they push it back another hour. They kept doing that. They kept doing it. They kept doing it. Finally, it fucking come. Heavy rain, thunder, lightning a little bit, and then it was thundering until about I don't know two o'clock in the morning. You, you you'd hear little claps of thunder here and there. And then the storm was literally rotating like a hurricane. So whatever was over to the east, you know, came up, went up north, went up into Canada, did some stuff over in Canada, and then it came back into North Dakota and had fun over there. You know, so it did a hurricane turn, you know. It's like, okay, whatever, it's fine, but we didn't need two and a half inches of rain, and we didn't need hurricane force winds. So yes, I am very irritated and pissed off, but the main thing is what started it was that my basement flooded. I had that thing 90, at least 98% dry. Uh, it was like I said, there's a little bit of water in the corner yet, but I figured that would just evaporate with time. Because um, I had all the fans going and everything to get things to dry out a little quicker, you know. No, no, that's just, that's just, that's just fuck him in the ass and, and flood his basement so she's back under again so I'm not cleaning it I'm not sucking it up it can just evaporate on its own fuck it so it's not going to be healthy for my basement but you know when I've spent literally a month already sucking out the water from the last fucking time I'm still a little wore out from that you know and then seeing that having to go pig wrestle and then having to cut a tree down, get rid of a tree a little bit, and then fix some electric fencing. And then we couldn't figure out the motherfucking electric fence was still shorting out somewhere. We didn't know where the hell it was shorting out. Because the cows kept breaking out all the freaking time. So, Chris, you know, we had no, we were already out checking fencing because the tree fell on it. So, my uncle's like, all right, I know this is going to be a bad day to do it, but we need to just completely overlook the whole entire fencing system from the very beginning to the very end and see what the hell's going on because they're still shorting out somewhere. So we started from point A, went all the way to the point B, and then what do you know, where all the old equipment is sitting at along the fence line, there was a piece of wire somehow that was tied on to that old John Deere swather out there, that full type swather. There was a piece of wire hanging on it. I guess the winds picked it up and rotated it because it was hanging on on the on the shaft, the, the, you know, the turning shaft that powers the unit. It flipped up, landed on the electric fence wire. So instead of going through the electric, you know, energizing the whole fence, it was stopping at the wire and then going into the swather, shocking the swather. So, so part of the fence was getting energized, but then the rest wasn't. So, but when the when it's not completing a circuit, 
um, the right way, it tells you on the electric fence that, hey, or on the energizer, because it's got a blinky light and you hear it clicking and stuff. Well, usually when the light disappears, then there's something wrong. And so, and it's been doing that for quite a while, we just couldn't figure it out. So sure enough, we walked around the equipment, just the tiniest little piece of wire touching the electric fence wire was completely shorting out the system and then half of the fence wasn't even getting, you know, wasn't getting electricity to it, so. Oh, what a fucking, you know, and, and we walked everything about three times because we didn't see the wire because the wire is so freaking tiny. It's so thin that it blends in with the other part of the fencing that's already there, so you don't really see it unless you're right on top of it. So my uncle goes back behind, the, you know, behind the swather, and he's like, well, look at this. There's a piece of fucking wire touching the electric fence. So we did all that fucking work for nothing. Walked, I swear we must have walked at least two miles, even though we didn't actually walk two miles, but when you gotta repeat your steps all the time, you know, it adds up into miles. So, it got a little irritating. <clears throat> so, but yeah. Just, I mean, listen to the wind. It's just like hurricane force winds. That guy lost the tree, lost the tree branch over here, lost the tree at the farm, well, whatever. The trees are dying over there anyway. So, <clears throat> It's, un it's just unbelievable. And then I'm trying to get things done here in the shop. I don't think that's even... Well, that must have, I guess that must have dried. I'm working on a new uh, no trespassing sign holder doohickey thing. I finally painted the wood because all the other ones are getting kind of rotten. So I made up a new one. I guess that's ready to go up. Here's the old ones. I've got two of them. They're rotten and Sam held because they're not painted, so then water and shit gets in them. I think by painting them, you slow that down a little bit, so. But. I don't know. I got a couple more here I got to do yet, so. <clears throat> but yeah, I just can't believe it. This fucking weather has just been, uh, it's been driving me freaking bonkers. If it ain't one thing, then it's another. I'm, I mean, we might as well just give us a freaking tornado too, and then so then we could just lose our house and, you know, have to start all over again. Maybe I should get insurance put on my house. So then that way, if we do get a tornado, then I'll get full coverage for my house. You know, <laughs> it's ridiculous. So, I don't know. It's a little ridiculous, I guess, but what can we do? So, and guys, I'm gonna take off and uh just call her a day because uh my day's done so because the weather's shit and got hurricane force winds and i don't like being on it so what are you gonna do so anyway guys i guess i'm gonna take off so i guess i uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff so yeah thanks for watching guys take her easy